I'm Roger Lehman. I'm a lifelong resident of Lafayette Parish and I am running for Lafayette Parish Clerk of Court. The Clerk of Court is responsible for recording mortgages, conveyances, cash sales. When you buy your house, you may never go to the Clerk of Court's office, but your closing attorney does. And we're all familiar with closings. When you buy that house, you sign that cash sale and you sign that 30-year mortgage. And the attorney brings those documents down to the courthouse and records them in the clerk's office. You might go down to the clerk's office to get a marriage license. A lot of people do that. You might go down to the clerk's office to get a passport. If the marriage doesn't quite work out, you might go down there to file a divorce. The clerk's office under the current administration has lost its focus to serve the public in the best possible manner with the least amount of dollars. The clerk's office under the current administration has raised fees at every opportunity that's presented itself and has overcharged for services far beyond what is reasonable and necessary to operate the office. The office right now is sitting on an $8 million surplus. The clerk has raised fees at every opportunity that's presented itself with no real need for the money. The second reason is the clerk has become embroiled in politics. The clerk's office, the clerk of court, runs the elections in Lafayette Parish. The clerk of court of all people should stay out of everybody's elections. Our clerk of court it prides himself on becoming involved in other candidates' races. It's wrong. It's just simply wrong. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. The election process is sacrosanct. If the clerk of court campaigns for other candidates, where is your faith in the election process? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is reduce fees. There's quite obviously no need for the fees to be as high as they are. I'm going to reduce recording and conveyance fees by 15 percent, copy charges by 30 percent. It's ridiculous to walk in there and have to pay a buck a page to get a copy for something. Second thing I'm going to do is utilize technology to make the office more available to the public. One of the things I will do is open branch offices. It is absolutely ridiculous in this day and age for you to have to go down to the courthouse, circle a block for an hour to try to find a parking place, strip to go through security to go get that passport, to go get that marriage license. In this day and age, with technology, the computers are located on the first, excuse me, the third floor. Transactions take place on the first floor. What difference does it make if the computers are on the third floor of the courthouse and you're sitting at City Hall in Karen Crow or the City Hall in Broussard or Doucon or Youngsville? It matters not. Make technology work for you. You don't work for technology. I'm going to open branch offices. It's easily doable. I'm going to expand the office hours, make the office accessible to the public. Commissioner schools. It's election time where all commissioners are vitally needed. There's four to five commissioners in every precinct. For schools, they have to go down to the courthouse, circle the courthouse for an hour, try to find a parking place, strip to go through security. Don't forget to leave that camera phone in the car. You can't bring it in the building. I'm going to have commissioner schools in outlying locations. There's no reason to force these dedicated commissioners to go to the courthouse to be trained. I have published a website, rogerdlehman.com, R-O-G-E-R-D-L-E-H-M-A-N. And if you don't want to spell out Roger, you can use my initials, rdlehman.com. I'm listed in the book, 236-3316. My phone is normally answered 24 hours a day. I have email on my website. If you call me, write me, I will be answered. My website is very comprehensive. If there's something I missed, I don't think there is. I've covered 10 or 12 issues, vital issues, very thoroughly and in great detail. I'm not afraid to tell you what I'm going to do. And when elected, it will be done. If you hold me to task. <laughs>